Hello everyone. Now we want to demonstrate how to create the list for you. Now for email marketing, lists are very crucial to your success. The reason why they are all crucial to your success is because you can manage your contact with your list. Let's say you have products, five products that or five different services that you render. You may want to create a list for each of them so that you know that these people in this list are interested in this service. These people in this list are interested in this product so that you market targeted messages to those people to boost conversion for example you are selling laptops you're selling iphones you're selling uh, selling uh, shoes for example now you have a list for laptop a list for phones a list for shoes now when you want to market a particular let's say you want to market earpiece to people who do you want to market to people who use phones who use iphones you want to market iphone earpiece so you send to the, that list not my, you can also market to everybody in the list but there are specific time that you want to send specific message to this kind of people there's a discount for this particular product or service you send to only those people or you can send to everybody generally so list is very important for management of your email marketing account so to create your list as the first step in your email marketing journey i'm going to show you how to create your list and if you have contact already email and phone numbers how to add them to your list and you, how you can send a message to your to those people right away and it will it will land on their inbox so that you can start getting conversion from your from your online promotion and online marketing drive all right so the first thing you want to do is click on list in your account now when you click on list that will open list you see there's a default list here already so this disavowal is can, can rename it can do anything you want to do with it but we want to create a list for a particular service or a particular product so i'm just going to click on create list now we're going to name this um their laptop or we'll say hp laptops hp lab make sure that all the all the uh, characters are small letters then you click on create now that is created you see HP laptop. So what we want to do next is hover here on these three dot settings and go to settings. Click on settings. And when you click on settings, that will going to take you to the list settings so that you can customize the list the way you want it to function when people join the list. Now, my network's a bit slow, so let's wait for this to open. Alright, so you see that this is the list name is there for your own purpose, nobody's gonna see it. Then the, the list title, if you want to give the title, you can go ahead. Then description, if you want to do that, you can give it a description. Then if you want to add a logo to it, you can add the logo. It doesn't really matter. You want to add the logo to it, right? Now, if you want the logo to link to your website, you if you have a website, you enter your website link here as well. Alright, so those are the basic things that you want to look at here but the, the main thing that we, that is important to us is subscription right now do you want people do you want to get a message each time anybody join your list let's say you are you are going to create we're going to look how to create a form later and maybe use it for your registration or we want to create a landing page and put your form there so that you don't have a website but you want to use a landing pages free landing pages on get response you can do that as well right no so if you want to want people to if you want to get a notification each time somebody join your list what you want to do is click this and select the email you want to use right you can s choose this for example if this is what you want to use or you want to use this for example and just click apply that's if you want to use any email you want to get a notification that's what you do you select any of it. if you don't want to get a notification when somebody join your list you want to log in into uh, get response to see how many people have joined your list then you leave it at the way it is right but if you want a notification this is how you do it now you s after that this one will require a double opt-in double, double opt-in means that somebody will enter their email they will receive a mail they will go to their mail to click confirmation to confirm their email address we don't want that but if you want that you can set this up there but the reason why that i don't want that is because oftentimes people don't really want to don't really go back to their email to confirm Right, so we just leave it as single opt-in is by default that's how it is all right now these are other settings for if you want uh, a double opt-in so we're going to leave all that this also applies to double opt-in we don't do that so we're just going to click save i'll wait for that to save
all right so that is saved down after after saving this what you want to do is go back to your list and now we've created our list for a particular product that we have which is a laptop right this connection is a bit slow all right so we have our list here right this is the list we just created now we want to add contact to this list so you hover on this three dot icon click add contact right Let, you already have contact remember remember you, you have contact that you want to add to your list you already have names and emails of people who are interested in your product and services that you want to add what you want to do is click here you want to send a message right away you click on the list that you want in this case we're using this for this training this is a free account for this training now we want to come to upload right so we'll click on upload now you will have them in your csv file already all right so i will just show you how it looks like i'll go to leads now in this list that i have one of some of my few leads are in one particular service that i have you will see that i already have them here by e names and email they're already here so this is what height will look like so you just click on this then double click on open to add your contacts now you leave it at add and update existing in case you already have email address so that you don't have repetitive emails so what you want to do is click next you want to check this i have permission to add these people to my list so click next and let's now you have it as you see the names section and email section so you have this list added what you want to do is import import okay got it now wait for this to import all right so we uh, the image important you see that the two 99 image important there's no invalid image everything is perfect all right now our list is fully important what do we want to do next now that we have the contact imported we want to send a message to them right to promote a product or promote a service what we want to do is go to create and uh, click on newsletter i want to send a message right now to this list that we just we just created and we have uploaded contact for so we want to name the this this message is for your own use nobody's going to see it so let me just call it um, uh, laptop then this is the email the from email i will show and the name then this is a reply to if you want to change that if you already added on that email so you change that but for now we leave it the way it is then the subject let me just say 50 percent discount for Dell laptop you just add a subject this demonstration of purpose right now after adding this subject what you want to do is add the people that you want to send the 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 newsletter to so you click on add recipient add recipient you know that we are sending to this list this hp list this is the we want to send to everybody so we select all list right if no matter the number of lists you have here you select everything that you send to everybody that is a message for everybody right but you want to send to a particular list in your account you just select that particular list share on check this we'll, because we have one list that's why it's, that's why you see this is double checking these two that's all because we have just one list so you select that then you go to remember the contact we uploaded just now and you go to add all right now is send it to hp list right because we have just one list right all right now you come here and what you want to do next is click on design message now when this open up you see there are a lot of templates here lovely designs that you can use to design you can edit to send your message but me i like to use blank template and design myself so i'm going to go to click on blank template let that open all right so i'm going to choose use this template this is the blank template i wait for that to load all right now we we'll see the this is the template all right now this is the logo session let's say i want to add my logo i'll just double click on this screw down here 
click on add image click on add file select then i'm going to pick the logo from my uh, folder and i'm going to up upload it add click on add for the logo to be added now we we'll have the logo is loading All right so this is the logo click on that then the logo this is the logo All right we don't want it to be as big as the way it is so we want to we want to make it smaller so what we want to do is come here and reduce the size of the logo as you click here size reduces reduce the size of the logo to how small you want it right now i want to align it to this side this is how i want it if I, if you don't want it this way you can leave it at the center or you can align it to any side you want but i want to align it right and i still want to reduce it further so i'm going to reduce this as well right then i don't want this view in line to be show so i'm going to screw up i'm going to uncheck this and that goes off let's say for example i want to change the background of this logo so i want to change the background can I just come here and change it to let's say to this deep blue and this doesn't go well with the logo i will change it to a color that the logo can see show nice so you, you, you get the point you can just change it to any color that you want right let's say for example this is the color that you want let's say this so you change it to that color all right the back to give it a little bit of the reason why i use blank template is because the it makes the message very light all right now for the body of the message we want to want to want to compose the message that we want to send so what you do is just drag this test here to this place i'll drag the test you want to compose your message i will just say hello now this hello you can personalize it let's say you can make it hello adeyemi hello john hello matthew hello anybody on your list you personalize that hello to anybody on your list to do that after typing the hello click on this icon here and look for name section you remember we uploaded a list of names and email for everybody so you click on name so you add that what it means that once you say hello and put and add this short code what it means that you go to automatically impute the the recipient name there to personalize the message all right so after that you want to type your message uh this is a promo now you just type the your message i'm going to just duplicate this all right so let's let's say your, this is your message and that your message is finished you say let's see, any other thing you want to add let's say thanks or whatever you want to add to close your message normally you are going to add links maybe you have a website or you have a page where people can buy or let's say your order is on whatsapp you, you can put your whatsapp link here you let's say your order is on your facebook page there's a post on facebook you can grab the link and put it here so how you do that is you come here let's say you, you just want to this want to look a little bit better than this let's say you want everything to have the same feel you come to this background and choose this same color right you can change it to any color let's say you want to change this to a dark blue color you can change it to this color then because of the test you want to change the test to white so you highlight it double right click as uh, sorry you control a it then you come to this icon and change this to white right click on this and change this to click on white so it becomes white so it becomes legible right now you can change any color that you want here now what the next thing you want to do is come back and you want to add a button that there is a call to action button to this so you come here you see button you can drag it and drop it here drop the button here and click on that and change the test button this i want to change it to order on whatsapp Uh, so i want people to order on whatsapp so i will just write order on whatsapp let's say i'm selling a product i'm going to order on whatsapp i'll click order on whatsapp put my whatsapp link right here right so i put my whatsapp link here now look at the button i don't want it to be at the center i want it to be i want it to be aligned to the left so I, I will do it i will align to the left here same way with the logo right now i want to change the color i don't want the color to be blue so if i want it to be red what i want to do is just come here and change it to red if i want it to be on that shade of red i'll click here again then i'll go to more color then i will now i will drag this down when i drag this down i want to click apply when you click apply the color changes to any color that you choose but you want to make sure that the color is prominent so for example you come back here and you can make it a color that's prominent so that it becomes obvious 
right so what you want to do is the size if you want the size to be bigger you click on large to make it bigger all right then the test you want it to be bold you click on bold to make it bold all right now that's how you design your message now you want to add if you want to add any other thing click back from here let's say you want to add a, a video from youtube you have a video on youtube you want to add to this mail what you want to do is drag it and put it let's say you want to add it here add it there and you see that there's no basically there's no space between the button and the image if you want space you click on spacer and drag it here that will give you space that you want right if you want to drag the space you can drag it here down so that the space is as you want it now you click here you want to embed a youtube video so that they can watch the video right on on youtube so you can come to youtube let's come to this youtube here all right let's just grab any video from here all right when this video open what you want to do is let's say this is the video you want to use you click on it grab the link close this out come back to your message and uh, add this here and click on go now this is going to pull the video from youtube to include it in your message right, so you can add videos that you have made to boost conversion you can come back here people can watch the video right in their email you can add your social link add anything that you want to your message after adding everything in your message then you see this power by getters will still be here because your account this account is a test account and it's free right for, right it's free for 30 days right but if you don't want this message to show what you want to do is just upgrade your account with fifteen dollars so that you this message goes off this power by get response so what you want to do next after composing your message making it look nice the way you want it to look then you want to click next this will bring you back here that your message is fully composed you can see a snapshot of your message yeah if you want to edit it you can click edit and edit it now what you want to do is send your message remember your you already choose your list we only have one list so if you don't have multiple lists you can select a, just that list like what we did when we we're creating when we we're selecting the list now what you want to do is send your message you can send immediately if you click here you send the message immediately or click schedule to set the message to send at a particular time you can want to maybe you want to send it later today by let's say 11 11 p.m you want to send it by 8 p.m you want to set it any time you want to send it seven days time at a particular time so you schedule the time and you save it then it's send or you want to save it to draft or you want you click on save to draft so that basically that is how you you can create your list add your contact and send a mail right away to promote your product that you have on on this platform all right so keep reading the article the next step is to we learn how to further use our account get email 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 form so that people can submit their mails create landing pages we're going to talk about all that but this is just the first step